for the latest in this bizarre story. Let's head to Fort Collins, Colorado, and early show national correspondent Hattie Kaufman. Good morning, Hattie. Good morning, Kelly. Richard and Mayumi Henny are not in police custody at this moment. However, authorities want to press felony charges against them. And there's now talk of a conspiracy as police question a third adult. It was a publicity stunt done with the hopes of uh, marketing themselves or better market themselves for a reality television show. Authorities say they are uncovering one lie after another in the hoax, beginning with the accidental launch of the runaway balloon. Are you Hitler? Get up with the television out! Millions watched on TV, believing Heaney's six-year-old son Falcon was on board. It's now clear that the thin Mylar balloon cover with foil and held together with duct tape could not have carried a 37-pound boy. We now know that it was not capable of lifting off. Investigators say planning for the stunt took two weeks and all three kids were in on it. Authorities say even Falcon's garage hiding place was fully scripted. How'd you climb up there? But an unscripted moment helped undo the hoax when Falcon was asked on live TV why he hid. You guys said that um, we did this for the show. So while the Heenies were picking up snacks yesterday at Walmart, the sheriff was detailing his case. Possible charges include three felonies, conspiracy to commit a crime, contributing to the delinquency of a minor, and attempting to influence a public servant. They may also seek a misdemeanor charge of filing a false report. So needless to say, they put on a very good show for us, and we bought it. Last night, authorities interviewed an associate of Heaney's named Robert Thomas. Thomas had sold his story to Gawker.com. Emails show the two of them discussed months ago the idea of launching a weather balloon that would look like a UFO and cause a media sensation to promote a reality show. CBS News has learned that plan did not involve any of Heaney's children, and Thomas was shocked when he saw it unfold on television and that it involved Falcon. Harry? Hattie Kaufman in Fort Collins, thanks.